All right, welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. It's already been a minute since we've last played this. We're on chapter three, A Curiosity of Main Street. On Man Street? Main Street? I read that right. Things are already starting to come together, and I think I have an idea of uh, what's going on here. Not sure, though, but uh, let's see what happens next. I believe we're still in the past, yeah. Oh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? That's a bit dramatic, cosmic. do you think? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh. Whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? He's doing his job. Leave him alone, man. Actual criminals and shit. Cedar Hill is not hey. exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. He knows what he's doing. There okay. Was that whole serial killer thing? Yeah. Hold up. What now? When was this? I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. But. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. Yeah, there's an, it's actually a I murder mill. some stuff. So. Spill it, lady. Yeah. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Just murder. Yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all... Like this? Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mail killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mail? Like... Our steel mill, where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Uh -huh. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Uh, maybe we should know who the victims were. We know there was a baby. I highly doubt they know what he was up to. Other than murdering. They'd probably just say, yeah, murdering, because, you know, what insane. They don't know about the whole entity business. Who were the victims? Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. Oh, the shit. killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are that we you talking? know of. No one knows for sure. Jesus. They never found the bodies. They found parts. Uh... Why would I be excited about this information? Oh my god, we're filming in an actual crime scene. Whoa! Uh, I guess we'll be frustrated. Are we learning this now? Seriously, guys, I just want to know why you withheld all this crucial murder mill information from me until now. It wasn't relevant? Oh, There's fair. no world in which that's true. I need to know everything. That's I mean, it wasn't really relevant. Same. Is it? <sighs> There's got to be more to Actual it. murder happened. You're you filming a murder card. movie. Linda, can I borrow your library different. card? Nope. Damn. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, well, by anyone. why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. What is wrong with you? Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance. We're also, those shirts, there were $60, okay? $60 to get that shirt in DVD. 
I liked you. you your hair. Ooh, hello. Hi. What? Wow, oh. you are. Uh, nothing. Do you want a piece of me too? No. Yes. No. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can't. You can't give me this option because I'm gonna pick that option. Uh, I should be. I should be serious. Be like, hey, hey, listen, you okay? <laughs> Audi partner. Howdy, partner. How's life on the range? Oh, uh, yeah. Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? I uh, just... Uh, nothing, sir. Oh, okay. Why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? No. You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. Psh. More like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Damn, you're so angry. Holy shit. Uh, Mom's gonna get better. Don't worry, she's gonna get better. Yeah, oh. but Mom's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. Here's helping. Right. Yeah. Of course you're right. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. It's all good, yeah. man. Times are tough. Mom needs is for us to be screaming A lot of emotion. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. Oh, yeah, no. he certainly is. I'm just speaking from the heart. He doesn't okay. need money. We don't need money. We need money. What Please give us money. What do you need from me? Money, please. Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much you help do you us? need? I have no idea. Ooh. See, nowadays, 20 bucks, that's nothing. But, you know, back in the day, 20 bucks was a lot more than 20 bucks nowadays. Okay? Uh. Hmm. Oh, shit. I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to be... I'll just ask for 10 bucks. Just 10 bucks, sis. Just, just 10 like bucks. 10 bucks? So, let's say, hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? A big old hug from me. From your big bro. Sure. Big old hug. Of course. Associate no? producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer. Uh... Oh, she's got something she's hiding. I'm not going to say that, though. That's just, that's just rude. I'm not going to blackmail her. Hell no. You can borrow my van, I guess. I guess. Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Oh. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. She doesn't no, like the try van. again. If I may offer a suggestion... Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? I mean, yeah, that's the simpler uh, thing. She was just enticing. bitching about that. Yeah. All of my chores, no complaints. You got 20 bucks then? Yes, ma'am. Then I bucks. think we got a deal. Oh. Uh, nice decision. Right. Don't try and weasel out of it either. I'm not. I'm, I'm a good boy. I can do my chores. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Pleasure's all mine. Fate changed. We got the monies. You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. Oh, I look itchy. Just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You, you washed it all off, it's... like, right away, right? No, you didn't tell me uh, to. You don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Any time! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Am I poisoned, though? Um, should I tonight. be concerned? Hey, this sure is a real issue. Hey, 
Think positive. Well, why are we going to a drugstore? Like anywhere else in town. To fix we technology. Can. What? Oh. What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. What is it? The curiosity shops. Endless and curiosities. Ah, there was a place cool. like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. Yeah. You never know. We could try. I bet they have some rad old junk too. We don't have the money for that. Sorry. We got ten bucks, and that's about it. I want to go to the curiosity. I'm curious for the curiosity shop. Let's go there. Drugstore's not gonna have shit. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. I said the joke yeah. first. Uh, I said it first. Yes, no. I get it. Lead the way. Just took all the credit. That was my joke. The hell, man. Man, if I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever and a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? That'd be sick. Then we hit the jackpot. Yeah. Check out the wares. Oh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. Whoa. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. They got to look inside. Why wouldn't they? I put my best cameras uh, in the window. Show that. what I got. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Okay. We got what we need, Granny. Don't do anything now, weird. We just need, just need a camera. I think Whoa, I have look at all this old stuff. that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. Uh, and be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. We only got 10 bucks, lady. Uh, make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Could it have been in... Dude, this game would look so good if I could put it at any high quality. I am getting uh, a new graphics card and a processor soon. So, I should be able to play in better graphics and frame rate, which will be awesome. But uh, she's talking about stuff. I was listening. What is this? Bomb Burgers? Open it. Oh, it's this thing again! Looks like we missed one back in the previous chapter. Interesting. I wonder what these do if we uh, collect all of them. Okay, we need to be more aware of some front. Yo! I'll take this one. Hi, friend. Mr. Skeleton? Dead weight. What is this? Dear Mr. Never Olsen. Owned this place before had some lousy luck. Wow, you are an incredibly fast reader. Hold on. This letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Nednacks. Okay. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed, and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, is that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully, moving on from Setter Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement. I've actually never seen that word before. Holy cow. Bereavement? Bereavement. Is that how you say it? I don't know how you say it. After all, time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you will find yourself able to adopt another cat. Ah, oh, the cat died! I thought it was going to be like a person that passed away. No, a cat? That's even worse. Oh, man. Oh, I should have read the back. Is there anything in the back? Hold on. So it was recently passed into the hands of a new owner. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, I thought one of his arms was like holding on to the ceiling. The other one was dangling. No, he's tied and being hanged. That is not as fun as it used to be. Damn. Hello, what other kind of knickknacks we got here? I did see a glowy thingy here. 
Hello, little glowing thing. I can't interact with you on this side. Oh, shit! La, 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 la. Oh, cute bunny. Oh, no. You do not need to add the, the humming. Why is this here? Why is this here? Oh, that's weird. Why Why is the Huntress's mask in here? It's all old and shit, too. We already saw that. What? Dude! What the fuck? I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. It's fucking Wraith's weapon! This is uh, Mr. Abarov's skull! You have just an actual human skull right now. I'm so confused. So like, here's my theory, right? When the entity took all of its killers and all its people, maybe it left everything that they had behind. You know, they replaced them, obviously. Wraith has his weapon in-game, but... Maybe in the real world. This was just lying in the scrapyard. And, uh, it eventually got to this antique store. Same with the Huntress mask. They just found it in the woods. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, it'll also just be an Easter egg. Just, just constant DVD Easter eggs. Because, you know, DVD game. Hello? Coin. Buddy, why are there so many Dead by Daylight references? This is the Legion pin. Look at him. Why? Again. Could have just been found on Mount Ormond. Cool clock. You got a hag trap? This is a Sonico reference. Yeah, turn it on. What am I looking at? I would want to watch this creep fest. Aren't you making a horror movie? What do you mean? Oh, what is this? I'm trying to look at this. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this like a hallway of Mount Ormond or something? Oh, it kind of looks familiar, but I don't know from where. It was going to leave that on, by the way. Can I turn that off? Nope. Yeah, just leave that on. That's fine. I'm trying to look for any other references to... DVD. Gasoline! You don't mind if I go back here, do you? Plane. Okay. Oh, we got. Mmm. A reel. Interesting. Film reel. That's cool. What are these, dude? Imagine cuddling up to that at night. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand this, man. Why are there little DVD dolls? Also, why isn't this not actual merchandise? Okay, I would. I would buy a little trapper doll. Hell yeah. Why is any of this a thing, though? How you doing? You doing okay? I'll talk to you in a moment. Hey, you find anything you like? Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? Pay for it. We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, let's start. There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to to finish. We have to. Hear me out. You just make a set in your garage. You get a bunch of scrap metal and shit that looks like it would be in the mill. You, you plop a chair down in the middle and you just film in your garage. Hey, most of the original Star Wars was filmed in a garage. So, like, you can. Just, just get a bigger budget. Find some money. Make it happen. Yo, more skeleton bones. Yellow. 
Surely there's something what that the can fuck? help us amongst all this junk. Is this a dredge reference? You ever think the dredge right now? Or is that too recent of a killer for you to be referencing? I feel like the newer killers probably aren't gonna be referenced. Oh my god! It's a crow! That must be related to Dead by Daylight. Uh, I'm not gonna go back there. I'm gonna talk to you first. You've just been standing here for a while. You good? You wanna you wanna talk? Wanna talk? Oh, I could have gone back she there. We'll see. running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. You're so funny. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. Uh, ten bucks. But may I? I insist. Don't break it this time, okay? That looks just like the one you have. Maybe. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but uh, it's not model. exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, buck. there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? It's exactly what we have. Ten buck. Ten bucks. Hmm. We have to take into account that, again, money is worth a lot more then than it does now. And we only have ten bucks. Maybe we want to save some money for later? Ah. Uh... Granny, it seems a little high, don't you think? Seems a little high. Uh, well, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. What is it? Is it a mirror? I'll pass. I don't need it. I'll just take the thing. Uh, thanks, but I think I'll pass. I'm afraid that's the best I can offer. Okay, well, I'll just buy the thing then and be on my way, I guess. You know what? We'll take the camera. Yeah. The price is fine. It's oh. fine. Oh, very good. Thank oh, it was much. a okay. Thanks it was just a mirror. A that could have actually been no useful to see it truly behind us. Is such a joy to see young people uh, so passionate about the arts. Just, I don't want to take anything yeah. extra from the antique store because yeah. it's probably That's all us. cursed. It's probably all cursed. Yeah, I'm sure you're a lovely lady. It's all cursed, though. Everything. You have a trapper plushie. You have the huntress's mask. You got a legion pin. Wait, guys, and you got Ray's weapon. Okay. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to hold this? Be right back. Oh, you cursed. Cursed Wait, place. Chris, we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter. All right, we're gonna buy some milk with our little sock quarter. I'm actually a little saddened that I didn't take the mirror. As much as it might be cursed, I just I feel like in a certain scenario where I'm hiding, I need to see my surroundings without moving. That could have been useful, but so I did miss something. Fudge, man! Damn it! There was probably something in there. I'm, I just have a feeling when this box is here, that means there is a little trinket to be found. And I have found one. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Caged Lips. Introducing Andy Dean. Best Left Buried. The Dark Mythology of the Lost Movie. There are those films that have been lost over time, which, in their absence, have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike. 
not because they wish to marvel at the performances of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality, realized only by the camera. It's like foreshadowing. Uh, you want something else from here? You want some glasses? Silo black? What the hell is silo black? <laughs> what we got here? Hair and body wash. Yo. Look at these prices, man. 175. 159 for a fresh mint mouthwash? Hell yeah, dude. This thing's like sh six bucks now. For a single thing. Maybe even more. Depends on the brand. Yo! Look at that. DVD make it right there. Never reference found. Duck tape. Oh, we can check out the board. No, we already need to check out the board. What is this? I could so find a place for these in Myrtle Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Ah, uh, because I didn't get the 20 bucks. Aw, man. Thank you for making me feel bad for my choices. Thanks, game. Yo, wait, there's an arcade machine? Hold on. Let me grab the milk first. No, it's not grabbing I feel like as soon as I grab the milk, it's going to start something. Cool. Your free game? How do I play? It's a coin to play. I have a coin, apparently. What am I doing? Oh. Galaga. Oh, it's a Galaga, but I have a shield that I can also just damage myself for some reason. Okay. Damaging my shields. Do I get anything if I do this? Do I get like a bunch of money? I want to buy some firecrackers. Do I get money if I do if I do this? I'm trying to kill them all without uh damaging my shields, but I think I've gotten to the point where I don't really care. Just blast. Just start blasting. How fast can I shoot? Do you think? Can I like shoot at a rapid pace? No. My limit. I'm missing everything. It's just these two guys left. Let's keep blasting. There we go. Oh god, there's more. That was great, but our friends are waiting for us. Probably just an achievement for getting a certain amount of score. Oh, do I want to grab the milk? I, I don't know. I don't know. Fine. Oh, I, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Cow milk. Oh, wow. Oh. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. I bet you they're at murder mill. If I had the gas, they're a murder mail. Missing Betty Baker. Okay. I'll take that, thank you. You know, I, if I had to guess, I'm assuming they're, it, it's at the mill. I'm, I'm sure they're missing. And you'll find them at the mill. You know, if I had to guess. Hello? Ring, ding, ding. Can I just go in? No. 
I gotta hold it. I'd like some milk, please. Oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. It Neither's is. a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so I like this guy. I have a feeling like he's going to die. Two minutes, so he's too nice. Oh, right. Yeah, ring me up. All well, right, that'll up. be twenty-five cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, Sock you don't quarter? see any yeah. coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section too. I Hell yeah. You were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. Hell yeah. yeah. Jaime I like this and Lynn guy. and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it yeah let's just drag but... someone else into our legal activities does my dad know you're going into the mill yes he watches that place like a hawk uh yeah we had a little run-in with him today but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest <sighs> man maybe we shouldn't maybe we should just not you know the garage plan is also a good idea involved involved in what hey dad yeah uh chris was just telling me about a um a we're putting together a fundraiser to show movies at the library okay okay you need that, to ride something home? oh something. yeah uh let me just get my bag i paid for my milk right i think i did yeah man you look tired you do not look good man get some rest Chris, I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. They told me about Frank Stone. I'm not going to tell him that we're just going to go back in anyways. That's probably not a good idea. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Got to be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. Hmm. You ready? Whoa, your shirt just changed. That was sick. See that? Take care. From a solid red to lines? That's awesome. I want a shirt like that. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. You said that real loud. Let's make a movie. <laughs> That's several words. But I, 